Ness, I talked to Mark Curry not too long ago, and he was talking about ghostwriting for Puff. I heard you bring that up briefly. How, how much ghostwriting for Puff did you do? Um, a lot, a lot of a lot of ghostwriting. I've been to all the Puff's houses, ghostwriting. He got a studio in every joint. Puff really loved hip hop. I mean, that's one thing I say about him and his success. Stay with a studio. And for him to be successful and as common as he is, he loves hip hops that much. Like he has a portable studio in 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 big ass Hampton cribs and fucking the Star Island crib. Got a separate crib where we record at. Like I never seen nobody as as as, as accomplished and successful him still love music and hip hop the way he does. When he doesn't really have to. You know what I'm saying? He's He's done well in all types of genres, not only music, but fashion and, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and liquor and everything else. So it's like for him to still have that love for music, and I'm a testament to that. He still appreciates rhymes, metaphors, cleverness, wittiness, song structure. Absolutely. He still, he still appreciates that. And that's why I respect him so much, because at any given moment, he could wash his hands with this shit, because he he's one of the pioneers of this shit. You know what I'm saying? And he's still attacking from that level. Did you get a chance to listen to his love album? Nah, he actually wanted me to write on it. I had talked to him a year ago. And I just seen him at Coney Island and shit when he um him he did the uh the day party. But uh, make a long story short, he wanted me to be, uh, be a writer on, on 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 that album, but just scheduling differences didn't pan out. But I heard a few tracks, but you know what I mean? For me, to me just Realistically, um, a lot of these guys don't know Diddy's accomplishment. There's a younger generation now. Everything is faster. And I think just people just don't appreciate him as, as well as they should. And um, to some extent, I think the music game is just kind of moving past Diddy. And they want to remember him as a figure that they know is accomplished, but they don't know exactly what he did. But he just one of those guys. So for him to put out music, I mean, it's cool, but you know what I mean? It's just, it's so much the way we receive and purchase music and the way we listen to it, it just, it just have a small shelf life. And somebody as Diddy that's a tax it, as passionate he is, the gems he dropped and the projects he dropped will get swallowed up in the fast paced um, cutthroat music business, if that make any sense. Nah, I do. And you know, I gotta, I gotta give you your props because we, you know, we 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 all know. No, I, I don't through... want to seem too political. I'm just speaking from the heart. Like it's like everybody is, you know I mean, giving a, a certain testament, and I want to give it a testament from my true testament, not a from a bashing ass point, not a dick rod ass point. That's why I'm giving you both sides of it, the good and the bad. So I just want to speak from a truthful standpoint on this, and you know, big up what I seen and and and. Tell the other side of it, the, the little horror stories too that come with it. It's not all actual alley comes from that certain person. Everybody think it's Puff, it's Puff, it's Puff, it's Puff, it's Puff. We got jerked by Mel Gibson and the management more than we got jerked by Puff. That, that's what you want to say. We would do a lot of shows for promo. They say we're promo, but at the end of the year, we found out that we was getting paid for these shows. So we would have to be responsible for the money to the IRS. So I was in, they had to lean on my they had a lien on my royalties for 20 years. I just got off lean with the IRS and, and got out the rears with my, for my royalty statements for my music maybe two or three years ago for being in that trouble with the IRS back in the early 2000s because, you know, they was getting money for us and we wasn't reporting it and we was responsible for that money to the IRS. Damn, so people got money on your behalf and y'all was the ones who still got penalized for it for tax purposes? Yup. Damn. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.